All right, guys, part two of the 9798 uh, Finest Box Series 2. The embossed silver and 16 packs, Jamal Mashburn. Not worth much, probably a dollar. <clears throat> Kevin Garnett Gold, that could be worth maybe five to ten dollars. I'm not familiar with the pricing on those. Um, one per box. But yeah, very nice card. We got a bronze refractor, one in 12 packs. So you get, should get two per box. Brent Berry and looks to be in good shape. Probably a dollar. <clears throat> we were lucky enough to get two Joe Smith silvers, one in four packs. Um, not worth much, 25 cents maybe. Uh, Antonio Daniels was the other silver. So again, not really worth too much. And we got a base Jordan, base Kobe already. So pretty standard so far, nothing uh, as far as beating the odds. Let's see what we get in part two of this break. I think we've opened 12 packs, so it should be 12 packs so far. Austin Crozier. Derek Anderson. I said you could get uh, the base rookies, the bronze rookies in Series 1. And I think there's just a few bronze rookies in Series 2. Uh, Derek Anderson, Austin Crozier are two of them. And I don't think they're considered their true rookie cards. I'm not positive on that. From Finest, there's an Iverson. I believe that's the second Iverson base we pulled. Again, nice cards, not too much greening going on. You will get that with the set occasionally. I pulled entire boxes that were complete. Every card was green. It was terrible. Um, and I p bought a couple boxes from the same seller, and both were the same, all green. So they must have been stored uh, in bad conditions to cause that. I'm not sure if it's too much humidity or what it is exactly. But Scotty Pippen, Grand Hill. Childs, Kenny Anderson, Jason Kidd, David Robinson. That would have been a really good pack. Pippen, Hill, a kid and Robinson. That's as good as it gets back then for base cards. Again, the base cards aren't worth a whole lot. The Jordan's probably five to ten bucks. Uh, probably five dollars. The uh, Kobe's probably three bucks. Out of this, um, John, there's another rookie card, bronze. Garnett. Robinson, Shaquille O'Neal. The O'Neal's probably a dollar. Garnett might be a buck. Again, you're not really getting your money back for these products nowadays, unless you get some big hits. Um, or a couple big hits. The MJs, you can't get the gold MJ in this series. You can get the silver embossed refractor uh, or silver, silver refractor MJs in this series. Trishman Carvalho. And so we got two Joe Smith silvers and now two. No, we got the embossed Jamal Mashburn. So this is just the regular. Jamal Mashburn. I was hoping to get a Jordan Silver, just a regular version. That's probably ten to fifteen dollar card. Marcus Camby. Gary Payton. I did pull there's a, another rookie bronze of Billups. I think he was probably the best rookie bronze in Series 2 that you could pull. You can pull Duncan and Van Horn, but I th believe they are the gold versions. Um, I did pull a Jordan Silver Refractor, number to 1090 in one of these. And it's a beautiful card, good condition, and I trade one of the few Jordans I've traded. Um, try working on getting it back, but I'm kind of kicking myself for trading that now. <clears throat> I 
and for any hard of it. And that looks like our second bronze refractor, Alonzo Morning, not too bad. A morning bronze. And again, these refract on the back. Kind of see that if I go slow there. Really cool refractors. Back and front. Uh, there's our two bronze <clears throat> refractors for the box. Oh, look who is in the corner. Oh, and that's refracting. So that's pretty cool. Open the corner. The pack didn't open too hot, but it's refracting. So I'm wondering if we just, I just talked about the Jordan Silver Refractor that I traded. Well, hopefully. We already got our two bronze. I'm going to try to be careful opening this, guys. Try to be as careful as I can. And it is the silver. Cool. Let's see if I can get this out. Wow, guys. That's amazing that I was just talking about that. And we pull it from the box. Silver refractor, 1026 of 1090. Let you guys look at the front side. Pretty clean. You can see there's a refractor line at the top, right at the bottom of the R, going through the C and through his hand there. But most of these, a lot of these did have refractor lines coming out of the boxes. Um, not uncommon. Probably not quite as nice as the other one that I pulled. But gosh, that's that's amazing right there, guys. Amazing to pull that. Twice now I pulled those. Beautiful card. Love it. There's the fire boys. We'll get that in a one touch here shortly. So cool, guys. I just talked about not getting your money back in uh, most of these boxes. So that will pay for the box right there and then some. Not sure exactly what those book for now, but I would guess they're, I don't know. I think I trade value. I When I traded it about a year and a half ago, it was around $250 to $300 in trade value, I think is what I valued it at. That'd be a little more now. Not much going on in that. Bunch of masters. here that's what it's all about on these box breaks is guys right right over here uh, these box breaks uh, if you can pull something like that there's no better feeling in the world oh I didn't even look at the pack I did at the beginning of the first video I think uh, the silver refractors are one in two boxes so not that difficult to pull but to pull the Jordan uh, I don't even know how many are in the set, so I'd have to do some research on that. If anybody knows, you can comment down below. Alright, we got some hockey. There's a nice rookie, silver. Chauncey built, it's probably worth a few bucks. Last pack, guys. This one didn't want to open too well. Doesn't look like we got uh, any other fire, but the fire that we did get before, plenty enough for this box. Another silver, rookie uh, Ron Mercer there. So expect six silvers, I think we got right at that. And 
the boom hit. Jordan Refractor. Beautiful, beautiful card. Stuck in a pack for 20 years. Numbered to 1090. Absolutely gorgeous. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I haven't had too much fire with these boxes, but that's just the way the 90s goes. I'm glad you were able, we were able to capture this live. Um, enjoy, and we'll see you at the next one.